Time for the French newspapers now. Uh, Elena Cassis with us here on set. Um, one of our favourite long-running uh, corruption cases is back on all the front pages, isn't it? It's the Betancourt scandal mm -hmm. again. Remember this one? We How could we forget it? They, every time they come up. <laughs> now, the, tre the treasurer, is he going to pay, is the yeah. front page headline here at Liberation. They're talking about this man, Eric Wirt. Of course, he was budget minister until he was forced to resign last year over accusations he took envelopes stuffed full of cash from France's richest woman, Lillian Betancourt, to illegally finance Nicolas Sarkozy's election campaign in 2007. Now, he's on front pages today because he's been summoned by the judge who's investigating it, who will question him later to eight and may well then charge him. Now, with what? With uh, illegal campaign financing. The um, paper points out that Betancourt's former accountant told police that he had received an envelope full of 150,000 euros in cash in January 2007. There's also the question of what strings he pulled to get his wife employed by Betancourt's former wealth manager. There's a potential corruption allegation in there. And there's the question of whether he exploited uh, Lillian Betancourt's fragile mental state. She, of course, is now been placed under judicial supervision because the court decided she wasn't quite compostmentous enough to decide what to do with her money. So um, he could then also be charged with having exploited her. And if he is, of course, it follows the president is implicated because all this was done to raise money for Nicolas Sarkozy's election campaign. All, of course, linked to the uh, French presidential campaign, which is uh, well and truly in, in full swing now. But for once, it's not the policies that are interesting. It's um, the security after Francois Hollande got flower bombed. It's the flower bombing that's making the front pages, as you said uh, just now in that bulletin. The security of candidate Hollande in question. Here he is on the front page of Le Parisien, looking rather ghostly and covered, <laughs> covered in flowers. Glasses all steamed up there. But while he kind of took it on the chin and told journalists yesterday it's an occupational hazard, the paper does point out this could actually be terribly dangerous and it's very embarrassing for France's security services that the leading presidential candidate could have a you know slightly unstable person get so close to them because next time it could be someone with a weapon and all sorts of damage could be done. So um, there's soul searching going on in the security services. Hollande's been given a new team to look after him of 12 bodyguards who are going to do rotating shifts but uh, Le Parisien asks ordinary people if they think this reinforced security is a good use of public money and they're not very keen on the idea. They're not very sympathetic for the poor man after he was covered in flower either. They say uh, presidential candidates put themselves in the line of fire, lit hopefully um, figuratively, but uh, you know they put themselves out there. He should be looking after his own safety. OK, we're well, back to the politics now, because uh, also in the papers today, the centrist candidate, Francois Bayrou, he's um, rising and rising in the polls. Yeah, he's on about 12-13% at the moment. That's enough, that's serious enough, if you like, for the papers to be doing in-depth analysis of his uh, plans to fix the budget deficit, which he announced yesterday. The business paper, Les Echo, there he is on their front page. They're really keen on his plans. They reckon he's got the best plan of all the candidates to balance the budget. He says he would balance it by cutting 50 billion euros worth of public spending by 2017. They reckon his numbers add up better than Nicolas Sarkozy's or Hollande's. But inside the uh, communist paper, L'Humanité, there he is on that front page, notably shaking hands with Nicolas Sarkozy. They say they're going to explain what his policies are really about. Is his pitch that he's neither of the left or the right really true? They say no, that his political history has been with the right, his views really are of the right. They call him the champion of austerity, saying his policies would be worse than Nicolas Sarkozy's for France's poorest. And they go back over his record as well as a regional governor in the south in the Pyrenees, saying he didn't support local businesses even now. Now he's all focused on making things in France. And moving away from politics this time, broken hearts are um, making the front pages. Yeah, the great love fraud is Le Parisien's big headline here. Mm. They're talking about marriages contracted between a French citizen and a foreigner, in which the foreigner, if you like, is duping the French person to marry them, thinking that they're in love. Uh, it's just so that they can get immigration papers to live in France. Now, according to Le Parisien, at least a 1,000 people asked for their marriages to be annulled because they said their partners had duped them into, into getting married for immigration reasons in just one uh, small region of the Paris suburbs last year. Now, they do point out that for immigrants' rights groups, this they said this isn't really a serious problem and the government is making a huge fuss about it to sort of stir up uh, anti-immigration feeling. But they do have some uh, witness statements, personal stories in there of people who were duped by uh, foreigners, especially people they'd met on the internet to get married and then uh, found themselves left rather quickly as soon as their new spouse had got immigration papers. Romance is Dan. Elena, thank you very much. That's Elena Cassis with the uh, French newspapers here on France Fancast.